Third one, what won't happen if that problem disappears? What won't happen if that problem disappears? Negative. What won't happen if that problem disappears? And what won't happen if that problem doesn't disappear? Don't write it down. I'll, you can get this later. What won't happen if that problem doesn't disappear? Visualize, notice, think. What won't happen if that problem doesn't disappear? Now, let me ask you what occurred as you were thinking about this. Anyone want to share? Yeah. For the last one, where, where there were two negatives, um, that makes it to a positive. Well, a negative times a negative equals a positive, as yes. any of you know, in algebra know. This is straight mathematics. Quantum physics is a negative times a negative equals a positive. Now, I, I want you to learn how to use this, everyone. And I'll give you what the framework is for using it well. In the first place, if you're sitting with a client and they're saying, uh, you know, I want to buy that car, but, you know, my income is really tight and it's a little bit of an economic crisis. I'm a little worried about buying the car, but I want to buy the car. It's on sale right now. And I, blah, 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 but I don't know. Da, 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 da. Okay. <laughs> okay. So they're in what we call a dilemma. This is very useful for handling a dilemma, especially one that seems to involve gremlins. Uh, I suggest using this wheel. So you'd say, well, what will happen? Uh, what will be the advantage if you do buy the car? You follow? Mm -hmm. And this tends to provoke visualization. All of these provoke visualization, even the negatives, if you're using a visual picture. Because the negative idea is just the beginning encloses a positive. This is the blue circle. If they can see the whole system, they notice there's a positive system and that negative question is inside it. They relax and follow it through. Now there's a couple of rules. I just demonstrated them to you. Don't let them talk and go into it at any particular step. So this is not for, for them to answer you. What won't happen if you buy the car? Well, blah, 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 I mean, no. Say, say to them at the beginning, OK, there's four questions I want to ask you. Just listen to them and allow yourself to wonder. Do you notice what I said, how I used my hand when I said wonder? Allow yourself to wonder. Head up, fingers up. As you think about each one of these. And then we'll talk about the issue after you've examined all four questions. So hold it on your knee, let them see it. So what will happen if you don't buy the car? What will be the advantage if you don't buy the car? I forgot the question. What won't be the advantage if you buy the car? What won't be the advantage if you don't buy the car? So you're, you're saying each question with about 10 seconds in between while they wonder. Now what happens is that they, seeing all this, unhook that old system. If you do it auditorily, and I've done it auditorily a lot, uh, it works some of the time. It will work almost 80% of the time if you do with the visuals as well. Yes, sir. Um, so my two questions are, one, if you could just clarify what you mean by auditorily versus visually. And the second question is, would you always do the questions in the same order? Do you start where they started and then work your way through? Often I start where they started. And uh, you need to build the skill to take whatever they've said and turn it into two parts of a statement. And 
f focus on the future. It's possible to do these around uh, past, but it's useful for coaching if we are working with futures here. As soon as you go through this effectively around a dilemma, guess what happens? People pop out to another level of system thinking. They don't necessarily pick just one of these. They might. But usually what they do is notice that this whole system is a small system of spins. And they've been spinning. <coughs> and suddenly they've got a chance to actually check their intuition. They move out to a point where they can check and notice what do they really want. Follow everybody? It's a different level of accountability and self-accountability. So we use this for those situations where people get stuck with dilemmas.